I was born into a wealthy family in Honduras. We had every luxury you could imagine, but then the economy collapsed and we lost everything. My dad was so embarrassed to become poor that he ran away. Meanwhile, my mom couldn't find a job and we were one step away from being homeless. I was only 15 and decided to knock on my ex-boyfriend's house. His mother opened the door and I explained to her that I desperately needed money and asked if I could work as a maid for them. She was a nice lady and said, you can work here as a maid, but it's a full-time job so you won't have time to go to school anymore. I responded, thank you so much. I promise I won't disappoint you. But I had been a spoiled rich girl all my life. I wasn't used to working hard. Since I was born, our maid had done all the housework for us. And now suddenly I had to take care of a big house all by myself. I was scrubbing the floor when my ex-boyfriend Jose noticed me and asked, What are you doing here? I responded, I asked your mom for a job. My family needs the money. Oh? Well, at least you're still looking hot. Did I mention that my ex Jose was a complete jerk? I broke up with him after I found out he was cheating on me with his new girlfriend Joanne, the girl that had made fun of me since seventh grade. One night, we had a school dance where I put on a beautiful white dress. But then Joanne and her friend came up to me and spilled orange juice over it to ruin my night. They were still dating and one day while I was cooking for Jose's family, Joanne came into the kitchen and said, Jose told me you're working for him as a maid now. Yes, I do. She came close to me and said, If you're gonna try to steal Jose away from me, I'm gonna destroy you. She was pinching my arm and it hurt so much that I pushed her away. She said, How dare you dirty poor girl touch me? You're just a maid. She took the chicken I had made, threw it on the ground, and said, Clean it up, maid. Gosh, I wanted to attack her. But I couldn't risk getting into trouble and losing my job. My family needed the money too much. Meanwhile, Jose constantly flirted with me while Joanne wasn't around. I hated it, though, because he was so disrespectful. He would give me orders and get a kick out of watching me do whatever he wanted. I think he enjoyed having power over me. I felt helpless, and when Joanne came over the next day, she ordered me to give her a foot massage. Like I said, I didn't want to lose my job, so I did as she told me. Jose sat right next to her, and both of them enjoyed watching me work. It was so humiliating. And because Joanne was afraid I would steal Jose away from her, she decided to move in with him. That's when my life became truly unbearable. She would make me give her massages every day made me do stuff like making her hair beautiful, and no one in Jose's family cared that I was being treated without dignity. I wasn't sure what to do. I was working 15 hours a day as a maid and didn't have time to get my high school degree. I knew if I didn't change something, I'd be a maid forever. But first, I wanted to come up with a plan to take revenge on Joanne. I thought about taking away her beauty. I knew Jose wasn't loving her. If she became ugly, he'd throw her out the first day. But how could I do that? I thought about doing something terrible like throwing acid, but that would be too brutal and I'd go to prison.